after 55 years of bilateral relations. A unique school holds special memories for people from the two countries. Today, Chinese expertise is helping Laos along the path to development. In such ways, 55 years of bilateral cooperation has brought rewards for both nations. And the mutual benefits will flourish as the friendship continues. Watch Time as Witness in Spectrum Asia on CCTV News. Tao Hong is traveling to Laos to do further research on the book. She began studying the Lao language when she was young, and as a result, she feels a close connection to the country. She visits every year, and whenever she sees the familiar cities and streets, she feels a surge of fondness. Tao spent two years working at a school in Laos, and her memories of that time are also very happy. Tao Hong's first call is on Fei Yuang Si Laofeng, who's the director of the Politics Research Institute under the Lao Academy of Social Sciences. She wants her book on the 67 school to have contributions from both countries. Fei Yuang Si has instructed his all the documents they can find about the school and also to contact former students. Fei Wangsi is also aware that the book will be much more than a record of the school's history. It will also be a symbol of the close cooperation and friendship between China and Laos. Fei Wangsi himself spent two years studying at the 67 school. Even though he was there for only a relatively short time, Fei Wangsi's memories of the school are still vivid. It was a special experience for a child to live in such a different environment in a foreign country. Tao Hong has many friends in Laos. The oldest of them is Kamponi Kyopanya, a lecturer at the National University of Laos. She was also a student at the 67 school. Tao has kept her informed about progress with her book right from the start.
The old albums bring the memories flooding back. No matter how many times they've turned these pages, they never fail to be entranced. They've spent several hours reminiscing. Official documents often make reference to the deep friendship between Laos and China. It's a seemingly abstract concept that is actually made real and tangible by people-to-people -people exchanges. There are no better examples of this than the Lao children's experiences at the 67th school and the long friendship between Tao Hong and Kamponi Kyopanya. Time has passed, but the beautiful memories remain, particularly those of the kindness and closeness shared by the peoples of the two countries. As for the venue of the reunion, Somche Vongsa thinks the Vientiane Center would be ideal. It's a modern shopping mall located in the heart of the city. The Vientiane Center is a product of China Laos Cooperation. The management is Chinese. Somche Vongsa thinks this will make everyone feel at home. The idea was Somche Vongsa's. Their requirements for the reception venue are very high. Place will be hosting a meeting, exhibition, competitions and a meal. The Vientiane Center management originally thought the reunion would be a fairly ordinary affair, but they soon realized just how important the event is. The Vientiane Center's management are convinced that people should hear about the school and the 50 years of friendship between the two countries. They agreed to provide all the facilities free of charge. Even though the venue has been decided, there are still many things requiring Somche Vongsa's attention. Somche, as a perfectionist, is determined that nothing should go wrong. Mai Suk Se Som Fung used to be the director of the General Office of the Central Committee of the Lao People's Revolutionary Party. In this capacity, he oversaw the whole process, from establishing the 67th school to sending Lao children there. Tao Hong pays him a visit, hoping to hear his anecdotes. <laughs> When he refers to China, it's as if he's talking about an old friend. During several visits to China, he had the honor of meeting Chairman Mao and Premier Zhou. 
My Suksei Songfeng has a large family, most of them connected to the 67 school in one way or another. His wife was a childcare worker there, and his children all studied at the school. อันนี้เออเอ่อกกเอ่อซื้อไอ้บุตรมีไอ้ซีพรไอ้กําแพงไอ้เจ็ดสีอันนี้เค้าเองน้องบุคคลผู้ที่หาเนาะและในปีที่
结在一起。特别是你们这个团队精神要配合得好，把我们中国的文化和老挝的文化结合起来，培养合作团队的精神。Lin Junxiong first came to Laos in the early 1990s. He's been headmaster of Liu Tol School for the past six years. He's aware of how mutually dependent on each other Laos and China are. The route across Laos is the shortest between China and the ASEAN region. The two countries' geographical proximity, long-standing historical relations, and shared socialist ideal mean they're destined to be important strategic partners. Laos的發展需要大批的中文人才的，我們作為在老挝最大的一種黃學校，其實為老挝的建設，我們就培養了一大批的人才了。我新建了母校的呼喚，於是我們回來了，我們回來了，我們回來了，我們回來了，我們回
For Tao Hong, the completion of the commemorative book project represents the fulfillment of a long-held dream. The book is a record of history. It showcases the profound friendship forged between people from China and Laos during a special historical period. The book is particularly special to those who studied and taught at the 667 school. Every word conveys their own experience, and every photograph evokes memories. Tomorrow is the day of the 67 school reunion. Somche Vongsa, 300 guests to attend. It will be the first ever such former students of the 67 school. Somche has been taken aback by the warm response and support that she's received. Anxious that nothing should go wrong to spoil the occasion, she pays attention to every detail of the preparations. is supposed to start at 9 o'clock. The first guests begin arriving two hours before that. No sooner do they meet than they start reminiscing. The guests aren't only alumni, there are also a former headmaster, some old teachers, and even a number of Chinese and Lao officials. Three table tennis tables have been set up, since all the former students are fine players. When it comes to table tennis, China has always advocated friendship first, competition second. No matter who they are, old students, new friends, a Chinese ambassador or a Laos government minister, they're all enjoying the moment. There's no false modesty, no affectation among them, only exhilaration. <laughs> this is not only a school reunion, it's also a celebration of the 55th anniversary of diplomatic relations between China and Laos. The organizers are delighted by how well the event is going. Sometimes 
some of the former students and teachers give speeches recalling the happy days of the past. Although the story of the 67 school is decades old, it's always lived on among a generation of Chinese and Lao people. Now that story is being told at a time when, boosted by the establishment of bilateral diplomatic relations, China and Laos have become good neighbors, friends and partners. <laughs>